Now, before we delve into paper one, section A questions, I think it's really important to understand just the structure of the question and also what you should anticipate whilst you're answering this question, okay? So what I've done is I've basically prepared a very brief chart summarizing how paper one, section A questions look like, okay? So now, one thing to remember is that in paper one, section A of your literature paper, you basically have two questions. Even if it's on the same text, it's split into two. Now, the first question is basically directed, directly related to the extract you're going to get, okay? So this is gonna be the extract question, we're gonna look at it. And then, this question basically is worth 20 marks and you are expected for this question, so for this part of the question, to really closely relate your answer to the extract as you're reading through it and as you're analyzing it, okay? Now the second half of the question basically is related to a theme or a character, okay? So it's a very broad general theme or character question and how they are shown elsewhere in the play, okay? Now what you need to do is bear in mind that this is actually a more challenging question because it really puts a lot of pressure on your memory and of course this is for this question that you need to do a lot of memorization of quotes and then you add this in your essay and of course you need to remember also different parts of the play and relate this back in your writing okay so really that's it when it comes to paper one section a of the exam you've got the first question okay so there's two questions the first basically is related to the next right that you're going to get and then you have to answer questions based on that and then the second question is more general it's either theme or character and you have a lot of pressure on your memory to basically answer questions based on that okay now with that in mind I've prepared some model answers so let's have a look firstly at how the past paper questions look like literally how they're laid out in terms of the format and then you're going to have a look at how I would go about answering a question of this nature so let's begin